Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another month of grocery hauls. If you're new here, welcome. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the post notification bell and click all so you're notified of every time we post. And if you've been here before, welcome back. So this first grocery haul is specifically for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. I'm having some beef with Walmart. They had one thing that was out of stock, which were cinnamon rolls, which is fine. They also asked me if I wanted to substitute these dipping thins, and I said no, but they gave them to me anyway. And then I'm missing six items. I'm missing some barbecue sauce, refried beans, taco seasoning, uh, black olives, and I think there was something else. So I just had to get a refund but I'm gonna show you everything else that we got. Okay, so here I got some triple cheddar um, craft cheese, a, a two pound bag of great value cheese, some Velveeta cheese, the original, and the queso blanco, two um, containers of, oh, okay. So two containers of frosting and some uh, super moist cakes. I'm making coconut cake cupcakes. They were out of stock of coconut, so I have to get that. Some shredded lettuce for a taco dip. Some vanilla jello, that's for the cake mix. We're gonna have little smokies and barbecue sauce. We have to get barbecue sauce. Um, I got the great value unsalted butter, but they substituted Lando Lakes, which is fine. A can of black beans, that'll go in the Rotel dip. As far as produce, we needed a yellow onion, a bell pepper, two bananas that need to go bad soon because my sister's making pumpkin banana bread with chocolate chips, two tomatoes, some green onion, and some lemon juice. Okay, back here we got an 18 count of eggs, one pound of farmland sausage, two pounds of breakfast sausage for the breakfast that we're supposed to be having, two pounds of ground turkey, those are for the dips, and two things of bacon, that's for potato skins. We needed some salsa for the taco dip, so I got some medium paste salsa. My sister is making a cheesecake, and she's just gonna make a plain cheesecake, but let people pick what toppings, whether they want cherry or strawberry. So we have cherry pie filling and strawberry pie filling Do and a- Oreos? You didn't say Oreos, it wasn't on the list. It should have been on the list. It wasn't on there. Um, a pie crust, graham cracker crust, and then pumpkin puree for the pumpkin banana bread. She needed some Cool Whip for her cheesecake. There is a shortage of cream cheese. So we needed a lot of cream cheese for these dips and desserts. So I had to be strategic. They were only allowing two per kinds and they didn't have the double pack. So I had to get two of the Philadelphia blocks, two of the Great Value box, and two of the Philadelphia tubs. So we're just gonna make it work. There's um, great value semi-sweet chocolate chips. And then we got some pork pot stickers for our appetizers. And again, the sea salt dipping thins townhouse for the pepper jelly and cream cheese. So that's everything that we got. And we will see you in the next haul. All right, so we are back with the second part to our grocery haul. As previously, you just saw Walmart forgot a whole bag of my stuff. So I went in to get five items and we came out with this. So that's how Walmart does you. So I'm gonna get started and show you everything that we got. It's between me and my sister. She had to get some stuff and then the stuff that I needed for our New Year's Eve festivities and a couple things I wanted. So we'll start over here. She got two cherry diet Pepsis. I was going to make a cinnamon roll monkey bread but Walmart forgot my cinnamon rolls and then I just decided I don't wanna do that anymore. So I'm gonna make eggnog French toast again because my sister and my mom and my friend have all been obsessed with eggnog. Are you excited? <laughs> and so we have a surplus of eggnog, so we're just gonna run the eggnog French toast back. So if you watch our Christmas edition, 
our week went like this. I show the eggnog French toast in that video. So I got one loaf of brioche bread. They only had one loaf. So I had to get a brioche and then just a regular artisanal bread. I like this bread because it's very dense and it sucks, sucks up that French toast custard like you would not believe. So I like this better than Texas toast. I got me a glazed honey bun because I like honey buns in the microwave only. And I saw it there and I wanted it. So I got one. I got one loaf of white bread because we don't have any bread. And I just want to get one loaf before I do our big grocery haul. Um, a five pound bag of red potatoes. My sister's going to make potato skins and I'm going to make some breakfast potatoes to go with our breakfast for New Year's. Um, my sister got a chicken pot pie. I am not cooking the rest of the year. It is currently December, what, the 29th. So I'm not cooking until next year. So they're on their own for like two days. <laughs> so people are scrambling to figure out what they're going to eat for dinner. So my sister got herself a pot pie. I needed some sliced black olives, the Hawaiian Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, some sweetened coconut flakes for my coconut cupcakes. We needed a gallon of milk, so my sister bought that. For Christmas, my sister got an espresso from my mom, and so she's trying to recreate her Starbucks drink that she always gets. What's it called? It's a white chocolate mocha with um, pumpkin uh, syrup in it. <laughs> and a pumpkin cold foam on top that's on my weekend coffee so she got she went on pinterest and found the stuff that she needed so she needed some heavy whipping cream and then she got three of these pumpkin spice um coffee creamers some tarani vanilla syrup and then she also found this starbucks white chocolate mocha creamer and i have tons of syrups but all mine are sugar free and on the weekend i don't do sugar free so I need the full sugar. So. All right. And so then for one of my dinners, probably tomorrow because I have a leftover burrito, I'm going to have this Zatarain's Blackened Chicken Alfredo. This is really, really good. Mm -hmm. For our apps on um, New Year's Eve, one of the things we're going to have are these beef and cheese taquitos. I needed two taco seasonings. We always get the 25% less sodium. Um, my sister got four of these turkey and cheddar Lunchables for lunches. I got two cans of refried beans. Walmart has been out of the less sodium refried beans. We just haven't gotten the full ones. I don't like that, but you know, we do what we can. Um, my, my sister got Amaya a thing of Pringles. Amaya loves Pringles, so she got her those as a treat. I'm on a Capri Sun kick. I love Capri Suns. I drink one or two every day and I'm almost out. So I got me one of the wild cherry. My sister got a cheese ball and we're also having cream cheese and pepper jelly for New Year's. So we needed some Ritz crackers. We were out of paper plates. We needed paper plates. Um, cream cheese. Um, I couldn't get as many as I wanted because there's a cream cheese shortage. And so Walmart on the app is limiting how many cream cheese you can get. I don't think they're doing it in store, but I only needed two more. I needed just a regular one, and then I'm making some taco stuff shells. When I do a recipe, I like to use name brand stuff, so I got one of those for me, and then we need one of these for one of the things that we're making. Um, my sister is out of medicine for her kids. She needed more Tylenol. Maya took the last of it last night. She got a flu shot. She went down, but a count, she was not feeling good. So she got two Tylenols. One is bubblegum flavor, and one is grape flavored. So if you've been around for more than just our grocery hauls, you know that all three kids here are in competitive cheer. Tegan is the one who always injures herself. She's had wrist injuries, ankle injuries. It hurts. Tegan's hurt it. So my sister got her some athletic tape for her ankle and then some self-adhering sports wrap. <laughs> Thanks, T. <laughs> So that is everything that we got and I will see you in our next Hi you guys, so my sister did a Sam's order and we are, I'm gonna show you what she got. We're almost out of syrup. So she got a two pack of this Mrs. Butterworth's original syrup. Her kids drink these crystal light juice packets in their water. So she got another one of those. We're almost out of butter and it's a better deal to get it from Sam's than it is Walmart because I think you get three pounds, I three pounds for $4. And at Walmart, it's like... You know, Walmart, three pounds at Walmart for... You sell almost five bucks or something, right? Four bucks. 
No, okay, yeah. So three pounds of Walmart for four bucks, and here you get five pounds for uh, six dollars. So it's a better deal. That was a lot. Sorry. <laughs> she got some cinnamon toast crunch for the cereal for the kids, gogurts for the kids, and the wall crawler strawberry and the spidey sense berry. Some honey bunches of oats for almonds. That's for Tegan. She loves those. With almonds. You said four almonds. Uh, with almonds. Some Fruit Loops for the kids. We're out of ramen noodles. Hamaya eats these like it's air to breathe. So she got her some more ramen. We got some paper plates and two packs of Shasta soda. So that's everything we got from Sam's. And we'll see you in the next haul. All right, so we are back with another grocery haul. We had to do a fill in before the new meal plan starts. Um, we were two meals short of the last meal plan. So our next haul, well, we're going to Sam's actually in a couple days. So then after that will be our big monthly grocery haul. So I think there'll be two more hauls for this video and then it'll be over. Um, I did a Walmart pickup. They substituted seven of my items. I'm pretty good with all the substitutions except for one. I'll show you what it is that we're not too thrilled about. But one, I came up in the game, okay? <laughs> So I'm going to show you everything that we... So one of the substitutions was this Tazo Tezo Passion Fruit Tea. I wanted to try it, and so I got just a small bottle, but they substituted 42 ounces for $1.68. So that was a good substitution. I mean, if I don't like it, then it's probably not. But if I do like it, I came up, okay? <laughs> I got me six of these 16.9 ounce Arrowhead water bottles. For one of the meals that I had to add on to the meal plan, we're going to do nachos. So I got two bags of the lightly salted great value tortilla chips and then for the nachos also i got four of these 25 percent less sodium taco seasonings it's coco i don't know why she's crying <laughs> um i get these every single meal plan i'll probably get them in the big meal plan maybe maybe not i don't know but my three of my sea salt caramel non-dairy magnums i love those also in the meal plan one night we're going to do pizzas so I got a three meat from this Motor City Pizza Company. These are very, very good frozen pizzas. They taste pretty much like you went and bought a pizza from your local pizza place. So I got a three meat one. And then under here, I have two of the four cheese for the kids because the kids only like cheese pizza. So this is for the adults and then two for the kids. Um, we needed some sour cream for when we have nachos, so I got some Daisy sour cream. This is the brand that my family loves. I don't eat sour cream. My sister will not do great value. So we get Daisy. Two tomatoes for the nachos. Tonight I am making, don't I get one of those? Well, I have cheese to substitute. Um, I'm making lazy lasagna, which was on the last one's meal plan, but I used the mozzarella cheese for something else. So I needed some mozzarella cheese for tonight's dinner. Some of this finely shredded Fiesta blend cheese. That's from when we have nachos. With the pizza night, I asked what they want for a side, and they said salad. So I got iceberg salad for the kids, romaine salad for the adults. The kids like iceberg. We like a salad with a little bit more body. So that's why we have two. We don't give the kids the bad salad, and we get the good salad. They like the classic iceberg. <laughs> so we got that. Um, I got some ground turkey. I like the orange turkey. They substituted the green. That's fine. This one's more lean. Then this one, see this one's 10% fat. This one's 15% fat. I prefer this one, but it's fine. So this is for the nachos. Some hot Taco Bell sauce for the nachos. We were out of mayo, so I got some mayo. I had Heinz, no, Hellman's, and they substituted Best Foods, which is fine. Um, two things of sliced great value black olives for the nachos. Black beans. I had, I wanted to get the great value no salt added, but they were out, so I had the... Um, S something I forget what it's called but then they were out of that so they substituted me the great value so I got two things of no sodium black beans or yeah no salt added and then two cans of rosarita beans they still do not have my lower sodium beans so we're still sticking with the regular ones for the salad the kids like Ken's Ranch and my sister me and my mom and Elijah like the homestyle lighthouse ranch so we get both ranches for preference and then we normally get the La Victoria green salsa, but they substituted the Herdez. Um, I've never had this one. I just know that it's super runny and the La Victoria is more thick and chunky. So, I mean, I guess we'll see if we like this or not, but La Victoria is definitely our favorite. I got four of these Capri Suns in the different flavors. I think I got um, 
two wild cherry, a strawberry kiwi, and a Pacific cooler. I only brought one up here for the fridge. The other three are downstairs. And then we also got a big case of water. I asked for great value, but they substituted Nestle Splash. So, but that's downstairs also. So yeah, that is everything that we got in this grocery pickup. And I will see you in a minute with our Sam's haul. All right, so we are back from Sam's. So I'm gonna show you everything that we got. My sister got her some Colby Jack um, cheese sticks. We got us some sliced Colby and Monterey Jack cheese. She got her some of the Chef Chamois honey butter. She's been eating um, cinnamon chip toast with honey butter. For her kids, she got them some uh, elderberry gummies and two of these little critters immune C gummies. Um, cinnamon toast crunch was on sale for five bucks. So she got one of those. And then she also got these Eggo thick and fluffy salted caramel waffles. So hopefully those are delicious. I got two boxes of the Premier Protein Shakes. I also got a box of these 28 bags. They're 100 calorie bags of the Skinny Pop popcorn. And then just some boneless, skinless chicken thighs to have for dinner. So that's everything that we got from Sam's. And we'll see you in the next haul. So I'm editing our monthly grocery haul and I ended up not doing another Walmart haul. Didn't do a meal plan either. We've kind of just been winging it. <laughs> so that's the end of this video. I just want it to end on like a cliffhanger. Just want to let y'all know that that's it. And I will see you next month, hopefully more prepared. Bye guys.